What is up, everybody? It is good to get back in the studio today to check out the Stray Light instrument within Contact, Native Instruments Contact. And this is another one of those instruments that is doing something really cool. I'll just start playing some sounds. And you can hear that there's all sorts of uh, weird, weird textures and sounds coming out of the speakers or coming out of your headphones if you're listening to this on headphones. And that's because this instrument is not only blending two sounds together, which is um, a, a sort of uh, style or a sort of flavor of contact instruments, if you will, that have been coming out for quite some time uh, for the past few years. But this is also uh, using a technique that is, um, it's a sound design technique that has been used within Reactor for quite some time, and that is called granular sound design and so if you can see what's happening you've got a sample in here and what what this is actually doing is playing a small slice of that sample over time and that's doing that for both sides so that's doing that for this grain phaser system sample but also this antique toy piano that you hear there's some different There's some different sounds that are, of course, being triggered based on what key you press. But you're hearing both sides, right? And so um, there's all sorts of presets that you can look at to actually change the sample if you would like to get into changing the sample from instruments or keys uh, into more synth sounds or more noise sounds. And that's the difference is that this is more of kind of an instrument-based version of this sort of granular synthesis blend of samples, uh, this kind of sampler, um, not just a vocal style, which is what the Farlight uh, instrument is is mainly focused on. So you, you got all kinds of different sounds on here, from stone to glass, wood, metal, uh, human vocals. Let's just look at some metal, uh, bowed metal sounds and see what some of these things sound like. Pretty cool. So definitely, you know, bizarre. It's it's not meant to be, you know. <laughs> this isn't like your run to the mill <clears throat> piano sampler, right? That's not what this is meant to be. This is for creating like maybe you know, horror movie uh, moments or, you know, uh, uh, video game design, sound design. You know, that's kind of what this is meant for. And if you start looking through all of the presets, there's all sorts of different presets. Let's just go into maybe some of the pad sounds. See what these sound like. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Just getting lost in that one preset. Let's go to some of the next presets. You can get kind of a preview of just the slice of sound that it's playing. And you can, of course, start dragging over it if you want to start playing with that yourself. You can change some of these parameters. I like to, to jump into changing this to the balance. Let's
let's just flip a few. That's the Annihilate preset. And if we look at maybe Transition. I would say so. Some hella Transition. You can come in here and play with the effects. There's, of course, all sorts of delay options, drive, you know, modulation, whatever you fancy. And there's an emphasis on this performance, you know, this XY pad on every single screen. It's there, you know. And so you can really do the, the performance aspect and, and test how what you're changing on some of these screens is going to affect your ability to perform with it um, pretty well throughout the entire instrument, which I think is really cool. Uh, sub. You may not get to enjoy some of these without some low headphones. But I would say, yeah, these are definitely... some nice low-end textures Yep. Pretty deep stuff. And if you have some large speakers, you will possibly enjoy that. Um, we're also going to take a look at pulses. Yeah, the, the sonic possibilities here, pretty awesome, especially just for composing really, really random sounds that sound nothing like anything else out there. This is, um, this is, this is a really cool instrument to achieve granular sound design using an assortment of different samples from different instruments, which you can blend together, control in many various ways, or randomize in many various ways. So, really cool stuff.
Can't wait to dig into it even more. Until next time. Thank you.